Meantime, two families have lost their homes after a three alarm fire. This had a senior living community in Annapolis. Chris Van Cleve is at the scene tonight. He checks in with the latest on the damage and why firefighters are saying this could have been much worse. Chris. Well, guys, this fire moved very quickly. By the time firefighters got here, there wasn't much they could do to save these two homes. They kept the fire from getting worse, but they say it was something else that kept this situation from becoming truly tragic. News Chopper 7's overhead as 64 Anne Arundel firefighters braved the day's high heat to battle a three-alarm fire tearing through homes in an Annapolis 55 and over community. I saw these horrible flames leaping up into the air. It was just, I couldn't couldn't take it all in. It, it just fire. I mean, these flames. 76 year old Shirley McDonald rushed towards those flames. Her friend lives in the corner house where it appears the fire started in an enclosed back patio. That I thought it was going to engulf that whole row. Flames 10 to 15 feet off the roof of the house. The house uh, became uh, engulfed with flames in the back right away. It seemed like it took forever for the fire department to get here, but they got here very quickly. Firefighters contained the blaze to two homes, but at least three others suffered damage from the fire burning so hot it melted the siding on homes hundreds of feet away. At least one senior citizen was home when it started. Fortunately, the houses have sprinklers, and that bought her enough time to get out okay. In this case, sprinklers made all the difference in the lives of these occupants. And I came and put my arms around her, and uh, it's a lot I'm praying for. She said, oh, honey, it's just a house. It can be replaced. Fire investigators weren't able to tell us what out here in the back may have started this fire. They did say that from what they could see initially, it didn't appear that anything suspicious happened here. The investigation still ongoing. Now, if you're wondering, the houses did have sprinklers, so why did this happen? Well, residential sprinkler systems aren't designed to necessarily put out the fire. They're designed to delay the fire long enough for people to get out. In this case, the fire actually got into the attic above the sprinklers, and that's why it took out these two homes. We are live in Annapolis tonight. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.